Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Melissa Ann. If you are new here and if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me for this video. This is my one year celebration of being on YouTube. It is actually, I think the 19th is the first upload that I had. I just wanted to celebrate, first of all, by saying thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel this year and supporting me, subscribing, watching, all those things. It's been an amazing year. I think the biggest accomplishment is sticking with it and continuing to record and edit and upload and all of those things. You never know when you first get started with something how long it's gonna last for, but I have really enjoyed my time here and I am looking forward to 2019 and all that it has to bring. When I was thinking about this video, um, Obviously, we're going to be doing a one-year giveaway, and there are going to be two winners. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about my goals for 2019 with YouTube. For me, when I do goals, I like to do goals that I know are attainable for me. So if I set a goal for how many subscribers I want to have at the end of the year, I can't control that. I don't know how many people are going to want to subscribe. So, I mean, in my head, obviously I, I have an idea of where I would like to be, but I can't force that. And I do this for many things in my life. I have an at-home business and the goals that I make are always concrete things that I know I can actually do and perform. Otherwise, I get uh, too anxious about, about the goals and then I just won't do anything. So. If you have anxiety about goals, that may be something that you want to work toward is like actual things that you know you can do. That was just a little extra bonus tip for you guys. So my goals for YouTube this year, I'm looking down because I have them written down on a notebook. So we'll just start there with the notebook. <laughs> my goal is to keep consistent notes of things I'm using, how I like products, different things I'm trying and different combinations to really help me be able to produce really good reviews for you guys. The first, I've already started my first one, and it's not just to produce good reviews for you guys, it's also to, you know, find things that really work for me. So I have, you can't read these because I have such chicken scratch, but this is my like foundation chart. So I'm, I'm trying different foundations with different primers to find one that actually works well together and for me. So that's kind of what I mean in terms of keeping really good track of what I'm using. So I'll also do this with like Shop My Stash, with requests from you guys, with things that I wanna make sure I get up on my channel. So all those kinds of things, just to make sure I'm following through with what my goals are. We will get to the giveaway and what's in there. Don't worry. One goal I have for myself is to have a week pre-filmed. So. If I want to make sure that I'm producing content and quality content and always having something to upload, then I want to make sure I have a week pre-filmed, which I pretty much consistently do. But then if I end up getting sick or something happens, then I'll have content to be able to upload to keep that consistency. My goal was actually to have five videos a week, but already for January, I have a completely full schedule of videos and I don't have enough room to get in all the content that I want to get in in January so I don't think I'll probably have an issue with that but I would like I would like to have at least five videos a week so that is my goal with videos the next thing is to stick with my low buy <laughs> that is going to be so hard for me I was already shopping on Ulta website today and like looking at some new products from NYX, they have some new lip products out, and I'm like, I can't get that. That is a no buy rule within my low buy is no lip products. If you wanna check that video, I'll put it right here. I have laid out very specific rules for myself to help me stick to it, but I didn't purchase any lip products, so you could be proud of me. <laughs> but just sticking with that no buy and making sure that I follow those rules. Another one is working on my description boxes. This is always the last thing that I get to and I end up not really getting everything in that I think you guys probably want in my description boxes. And I think the biggest thing is the amount of time for filming and editing that it takes and then to add another however long it takes to put products that I'm using or links or things like that is is more time that I'm taking and I have three little kiddos so if something's gonna slide by it's gonna be the description box but I would like to 
improve on the content of my description box maybe like some feedback from you guys what would you like to see more of in my description boxes i don't know that i could put every product i'm using every time that would be a lot although i'm going to start shop my stashes so maybe it would be easier because they would stay kind of the same within a two week time period what do you guys think what more do you want to see in my description boxes another thing um that i want to do is i want to do more collabs so right you've got to put a number on a goal when you're goal setting or it's just going to end up going by and nothing's going to happen so i think to start with two collabs a month i think is a really good goal to start with i really want to collaborate with more creators and just kind of push push the envelope a little more for myself as well. And I have got two more goals and they kind of go hand in hand. So one is my background setting. I, this is not my forte setting up this background setting. I know some people have such cute background settings. So this uh, backdrop I just purchased and I think it's an improvement from what I had, but uh, obviously I need to iron it a bit. <laughs> and then I probably need to have some kind of lights in there as well but I am in a very small I have a very small little space here this is actually I'm up against a wall and then I'm my makeup desk and then I'm in front of it with my video camera and the space cannot get larger so I would like to improve on that somehow if you guys have ideas suggestions things you want to see in the background let me know and going along with that, improving my thumbnails, I think an improved background will improve my thumbnails. For some of these goals, I've obviously got to do a little bit of research for, but those, those are my YouTube goals. So now they're out there in the world <laughs> on a video for me to recheck from time to time to see if I am meeting those goals. So those are my goals for 2019. Now on to the giveaway. So I pulled you guys on the community tab and you said you preferred to have two smaller giveaways rather than one large giveaway. So the way to enter is going to be the same as all my giveaways. There'll be a Glean link down below and you just click on it and it'll just kind of like enter you. And that makes it really easy for me to be able to choose a winner because they choose for me. So this time I'll just choose two winners. I'll let the first winner pick which one they want and then... The second winner will get the other the other box, but they are very equally distributed. <laughs> so here is our first bag with goodies inside it. So let me show you what there is. The first one is the Pure Cosmetics Be Your Selfie Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like on the back. I think both of these giveaways are around a $200 value. The next one I have is the Violet Voss Liquid Lipstick in Wasted. A Mally Beauty Waterproof Eyeliner in Starlet. So this is kind of like a gunmetal shade. An Ulta Beauty Lipstick in Stay Fierce. And an Ulta Beauty Eyeshadow Primer in Satin Blush. A Clinique Blush in New Clover. A Hula Bronzer a little mini balm brush blush in frat boy and a what's up highlighter from benefit i've got some eyeshadow products um, one of my favorite eyeshadows from ColourPop is baseline it's that blue one i've got a bare minerals um, loose eyeshadow in celeste celestine these are some of my favorite eyeshadows i've got a cargo eyeshadow in it's like in a brown shade a Teeny Beauty Eyeshadow Shimmer in Pearl Fizz. Smashbox uh, Camera Ready Primer. A Tarte Light Camera Splashes Mascara. A Dr. Brandt Pour Dermabrasion Exfoliator Scrub. A Mary Kay Lipstick in Pink Shimmer. And a Luxie Brush, the Tapered Luxie Highlighter Brush is everything for giveaway one and then here is the bag for giveaway number two we have got the Ulta eyeshadow palette looks like this a Hikari blush in tango it looks like a juice beauty a green apple full strength peel mask or peel exfoliator a Clinique chubby stick highlighter 
a Jante Blue Glittering Star Eyeliner in black. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. A Clinique High Impact Mascara. A Hula Bronzer. It's a Laura Geller Retractable Baked Powder Brush. An Ulta Matte Metallic Liquid Lip in... I don't know what this is in. It doesn't say. And a Tristique Lip Crayon in Paris Pink. And a Sephora Lip Stories Lipstick in Celebrate. We've got a Cargo Eyeshadow Duo in Sand and Fairy. A Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in Bare Skin. A ColourPop eyeshadow in Paper Tiger. That's another one of my favorite ColourPop shadows. And a Be A Bombshell Let's see what this is. Eyeshadow in Eyeshadow in Risky Business. So those are my two giveaways for my one year celebration here on YouTube. Thank you guys all who have supported me during this year. I do hope you will enter the giveaway. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!